too, okay, it's found somewhere in Avigon. You can update them for free. Okay, so there's maps that get updated. So that on Navigon, it'll tell you right here. Okay, on TomTom, Tom, it's just gonna come up. The message will come up once you connect to a Wi-Fi connection. It'll tell you to download whatever maps. Um, there's also corrections and places that people can mark up. And same thing for the two of them, you can get those maps. But then again, you need internet. And the point of getting these two GPS is that you don't need internet. So that's the internet part of it, you can download new maps from it and um, if you don't have a lot of space on your phone I would probably go for Navigon just because of the fact that you can download whatever maps you want for the time being and that's it because 90% of the time you will be just in one place um, so you might just want to download those maps and that way this will not take a gig from your phone it'll take a lot less let's say 200 megabytes uh, versus TomTom Tom, that will take a gig they don't give you a choice what maps to download what maps not to download, okay? I'll just download everything from the country. That's why it's gonna take a lot more space. Now, however, although I like TomTom Tom and all my information gets transferred from one phone to the other, when I change phones all the time with Tom, Tom, with Navigon, uh, all my favorites get transferred over. So that was great. Uh, with TomTom, Tom, I noticed the same thing. Um, they do get transferred over, but it kind of works more with iCloud itself. Tom Tom, which is, it's good, but um, Navigon didn't need that. Uh, Navigon just, uh, uh, all the information got transferred just because in the app itself, it kept that information. So when I re-downloaded really that, it, it did it, everything. So that was pretty nice. Um, now in the end, although, like I said, I like Tom Tom better. I like uh, Navigon better, I mean, <laughs> um, just because it's easier user interface and I like how easy it is to navigate and just, you know, look at through other parts that I can go on the street. That's very important if I'm driving. I have to be able to manage the this thing so I can see what other streets I can I could take if there's a traffic accident or something like that, which that has happened so many times. Um, so although this is really good for that, also the space-wise, you can choose maps and all that. That eats it from Tom Tom. I ended up choosing Tom Tom. Okay, now why did I choose Tom Tom? It's because every time I couldn't find a street from a city on this on Navigon, I had to resort into Tom Tom. Tom Tom does have more maps. Okay, it has a uh, they update their maps a little bit more than Navigon, so Navigon doesn't catch up quite as fast as Tom Tom. Okay, so as I've seen throughout the all years, um, every time I didn't find a street, which was rare, I mean it happened when I went out of town and I went somewhere else, I couldn't find a street on the map uh, with Navigon, so I had to resort to TomTom. Tom. So in the end, I had to choose TomTom Tom as my major um, in prime GPS, Okay, although I don't like the user interface, don't like it a lot. However, now I have unlimited data plan, so I use Google Maps all the time. And I only use TomTom Tom when I'm out of town and I don't want to get any roaming charges or any extra charges, okay? So that's when I use TomTom. Tom. Other than that, I always use my data plan with Google Maps, which is 100% free. It will tell you the traffic and it's a great, great GPS. But if you want something to go out of the country or something, you know, it's always going to work whether you have a signal or not. You have to get one of these uh, two, okay? Whether it's Navigon or TomTom. So it really depends on you guys. Um, if you need, if you're really tight on space and uh, you don't go out of town too much, then Navigon will be it. Um, just because the user interface and everything. Uh, other than that, TomTom will be the one that you want if you have enough space. You have, you know, you have a gig. You can afford a gig, and uh, you want to have you go out of town a lot and you want your maps to be more updated then you want TomTom Tom, okay so it's really up to you guys which one's better which one's not um, my preference was always Navigon over TomTom Tom. however TomTom Tom, like I said ended up winning just because they had more maps and everything like that so I could find more places in TomTom Tom than Navigon um, it's not that they had a bunch more places but those little streets that were just out there and just couldn't find them TomTom Tom had those, so I had to go with TomTom. Tom. 
Okay, so that's it for my review, guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, please write them here below. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.